Hello super user. Today we're going to learn how to enter non-standard tuplets in finaling. So let's say we wanted to start off by entering a normal triplet, right? We could select the first note and then the normal keyboard shortcut is 9 and it will automatically make a triplet for us. Now, since we don't want just the normal triplet, we want let's say a 5 against 4. It's so like 5 eighth notes in the time of 4. Instead of pressing 9, we want to press option 9. And that'll bring up this menu. Uh, where you can say I want to use five of the whatever the current value is current value being the eighth note because that's what we wrote at initially uh, so we want to use five of the current value in the space of in the space of four so that's a five against four right and so now if we enter we'll get to see we can use five eighth notes in the time of four normally right and just to prove that it actually is five against four we can add a half note in with no errors and no overflow and we could do very similar things, like let's say we wanted to do it with quarter note, where we can use five of the current in the space of four of the current, which gets us five against four quarter notes, which will fill up the entire measure. There are other ways of doing something kind of similar, like let's say you want a triplet uh, where the first one's a quarter note followed by an eighth note. So how do you actually do that? Well, you first want to start off entering a quarter note, option nine, Instead of three of use current, you want to use three eighth notes in the span of two eighth notes. That's what a normal eighth note triplet is, but because the first note's a quarter note, we can't just enter a triplet in normally. But if we use three eighths in the space of two eighths, hit OK, we'll see that we have a spot for one eighth note with precisely the amount of time we want to do. And just for completeness, we don't even need to say like five eighth notes in the span of two eighth notes. Uh, we can say something even more odd and use, uh, let's say, seven um, half notes in the span of three eighth notes. Uh, let's do three sixteenths, why not? Right? So if we do that, then we'll notice we have time for seven half notes. And why the dotted quarter note here at the end? Because that's because we started out with an eighth note. So we can create some very, very weird tuplets this way. And I believe if we did it correctly, we should be able to add that. Oh yeah. There we go. We should be able to add that to completely fill out the measure. And so that's the way you want to add non-standard tuplets in Finale.